Unit Protection Logic It comes under Sequential Control Logic Protective Interlocks Related with Thermal Power Plants Unit Protection Logic The Unit Protection Logic mainly refers to the protective interlocks associated with the operation of the three most important components in the power plant the boiler the turbine and the generator typical power plant steam flow diagram here we can see the steam generator that is boiler then we are having the turbine and then we are having the third important component generator request it is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe the objective of the interlocks is to ensure maximum safety to plant personnel and to guard against catastrophic damage to the equipment during all phases of plant operation the boiler turbine and generator are tripped individually on the occurrence of any unsafe or abnormal operating conditions the boiler trip is the master fuel trip mft and is usually incorporated as a part of the burner control system logic master fuel trip on a master fuel trip the logic immediately stops all fuel flows to the furnace here we are having the pulverizer which is giving fuel flow to furnace the forced draft and induced draft fans will be kept running if they are in operation at the time of the trip to purge the furnace of any unburned combustibles here we are having the forced draft fan and here we are having the induced draft fan turbine trip the turbine trip logic hardware is an integrated part of the turbine's control system which initiates a turbine trip upon detection of any unsafe operating conditions when the turbine trips the turbine control system immediately dumps the hydraulic fluid from the main and reheat stop valve actuators and closes the stop valves here we are having the main steam stop valves and here we are having the reheat valves a pressure switch sensing the low pressure condition of the hydraulic fluid or limit switches sensing the closed position of the stop valves is usually usually used as a verification that the turbine has tripped all steam extraction line air operated non return valves are closed on a turbine trip the turbine oil system has a dump relay valve 
which is installed on the pneumatic line to the steam extraction line non return valves when the turbine trips the dump relay valve is actuated thus venting the air and causing the non return valves to close simultaneously all turbine and steam extraction line drain valves are opened and all superheater and reheat spray valves are closed to minimize the possibility of water induction into the turbine generator trip generator and system electrical faults are monitored by protective relays a fault that can cause damage to the generator will trigger a generator trip the action immediately following the initiation of generator trip is to open the circuit breaker that connects the generator to the grid consequently taking the generator off line the operation of the boiler the turbine and the generator are closely coupled the boiler supplies steam to the turbine and the turbine drives the generator to produce power a trip of any one of the three has a direct impact on the continued operation of the other two and causes an interruption to the power production process the trips must be coordinated to effect an orderly and safe shutdown of the equipment without aggravating the system malfunctions that caused the trip in the first place a boiler trip requires a turbine trip because the boiler trip removes the steam supply to the turbine and there is no need to continue turbine operation without the boiler it should be noted that the turbine control system is equipped with a low throttle pressure governor which is designed to close the turbine steam admission valves when the turbine throttle pressure drops below a preset value however with large boilers and the potential of water carry over from the boiler as the steam pressure decays following a boiler trip the logic typically trip the turbine directly without waiting for the throttle pressure governor to close the turbine valves a boiler trip will not directly trigger a generator trip on the other hand a turbine trip also requires a boiler trip since the turbine valves are closed and the boiler steam has no place to go however on units equipped with a 100% turbine steam bypass system to the condenser it would not be necessary to trip the boiler because the bypass valves can be opened to provide a flow path for the boiler steam units with a 100% turbine steam bypass system are common in europe but are not often used in the united states there are two major concerns about turbine and generator tripping turbine over speed and generator motoring if the generator is tripped simultaneously with the turbine the turbine is exposed to the danger of excessive over speed because tripping the generator in effect 
completely removes the load from the turbine and the steam entrapped in the turbine flow passes keeps the turbine running to limit turbine over speed to a safe level under such a condition the generator trip should be delayed until the entrapped steam has run its course this is typically implemented by a reverse power relay the generator is tripped only on detection of reverse power into the generator following the turbine trip the detection of reverse power in the generator signifies that no steam is in the turbine to drive the generator and thus there will be no danger of turbine over speeding such a tripping arrangement is known as sequential tripping of the turbine and the generator generator motoring occurs when the steam flows to the turbine is reduced during low load operation or when the flow is shut off as in the case of a turbine trip such that the power developed is below the no load loss while the generator is still online the generator will operate like a motor driving the turbine and cause overheating of the turbine blading to prevent motoring the turbine and generator should be tripped simultaneously on the occurrence of either a turbine or generator fault however doing so runs the risk of excessive over speed because of the entrapped steam in the turbine sequential trip and simultaneous trip are at cross purpose purpose with each other in determining which one to use under the different fault conditions the station designer must make a choice between the two in general sequential trip is used for turbine faults and for those generator faults where the risk of a few seconds delay in tripping the generator is slight simultaneous trip is used for all generator faults where the risk of causing damage to the generator outweighs the probability of excessive over speeding on some units the turbine is kept in operation with reduced steam flow when the breaker that connects to the grid is open on the occurrence of certain electrical system faults in the grid this protects the generator on a system fault if the plant can be operated under such a condition and if the cause of the fault can be identified and rectified quickly it may be possible to quickly resynchronize the generator however this operation definitely increases the possibility of a turbine over speed as opposed to simultaneously tripping the turbine and generator and should be adopted only if there is an advantage in keeping the turbine in operation under such circumstances boiler turbine and generator manufacturers have standard recommendations for the tripping logic for their equipment and how a trip of one component should be related to the other two however it must be emphasized that it is up to the plant designer to ensure that the tripping functions are coordinated with one another and the logic implemented truly meets the protection requirements of the boiler turbine 
generator unit request it is hoped that this session was useful to you please press like please subscribe